Jessica Russett. She's at FIG for you to the minute. Well, welcome to the show, Jessica. Hi, Carson. Thanks uh, for having me. You know, th that rally, to run out of steam, I mean, one, I suppose, can be forgiven for thinking profit taking was was expected was was in order yeah exactly it was quite interesting to see so it seems there was a bit of a knee-jerk reaction yesterday after the fed um not that they raised right so that wasn't the uh the surprise there but certainly the the tone the dovish tone that there'll be only two more rate hikes for the rest of the year and so there was a bit of a rally that we did see uh, positions unwind and there was a bit of a, a sell-off overnight so we had the u.s Treasury 10-year yield at 2.53%, and that was up four basis points just prior, just after actually the announcement yesterday. It was as low as 2.5% mm. uh, and lower. And with the 10-year government Aussie bond, we had that at six points lower overnight, and mm. that was at 2.87%. And after the Fed decision yesterday, we had that trading in lows as well, around the 2.8%. Mm. It's been a big week for central bank meetings globally, has it not? Uh, and intriguing to look across, because there was one dissent uh, at the Fed and there was one dissent at the BOE. The Fed one, I believe, was from Minneapolis. But uh, let's, let's look at the BOE dissent. Yeah, no, quite right there. We've had quite a bit of um, busy central bankers going on this week. So there was the um, Bank of England last week, that, uh, last night, that met. And so they have kept rates unchanged and the policy um, as it is, although there was dissent there with one um, voting in favour of tightening. And the tone was rather hawkish as well. So although rates are unchanged, we are expecting that if there is any strong data out of um, England that we would actually expect uh, some more policy makers to vote in favour of a hike there. So we have a bit of um, policy divergence going on at the moment where we have the Fed where that, you know, they raised rates yesterday. However, Bank of um, Japan, they have kept their rates unchanged. Also the National Bank of Switzerland as well, that also has kept rates uh, as it is as well. So we're seeing a bit of divergence there and as well in Australia too, where with that, the soft jobs data that came out yesterday would expect that there may not be a, a rate hike um, for mm -hmm. this year. Even though the banks uh, are talking about elevated funding costs, uh, yes, as you say, the cash rate itself prepared to sit pat and uh, arguably the chat has been today as well, Jessica, you know, there would probably only be a move to neutralise what even we're seeing as out-of-cycle moves on, the, on uh, mortgage market rates if the rises are to the magnitude of what we've seen in Reserve Bank cutting by in the other extreme, but they haven't, have they? They've been very, very minor. Jessica, we must leave it there, but thank yes. you so much. Thanks for having me, Carl. Have a great weekend. Cheers, you Jessica too. Russell there from FIG. We move on into...